Donna Briggs, and today is Figure It Out Friday. I have so many people inboxing me, texting me, contacting me, wanting help to try to figure out what is their next path in this pandemic. Um, they come to me and they say, well, should I start my own business? Can you help me start my own business? Should I start my own business? Now, my advice is a lot of people are not cut out to start their own business. That's A. And some people have been so brainwashed to work for someone else, they, the thought of even starting their own business is terrifying. Let me give you a story. My mom was an accountant for AT&T for 30 years, right? And she was great. I mean, you know, she worked part-time. She did consulting for them. So they would call her in when they needed some help with their books or something like that. So it was pretty good. She liked it, 30 years is a long time. Anyway, so she worked for them. And one day they called her in the office and they said, your services are no longer needed. They gave her a big party, they gave her severance pay, they gave her 401ks, they gave her all types of money to leave. So they said, you know what? We don't need you anymore. We're fading you out. She came home, she sat on the sofa, and when I got home, she was on the sofa, right? So this happened when I was like 18. You know what I was like? I was 18. 17, 17 going on 18. And she was crying. And I said, what's wrong with you? And she was like, they let me go from my job. I'm like, that's great. Cause I've always thought outside the box, always thought like entrepreneurial thinking, always thought like that. I said, that's great, mom. You could go and you could start a daycare or you could, you know, they gave you money and you could always start a new company. She said to me, I'm not that type of a person to start a company. So I can understand what she meant. Everybody's not cut out to be an entrepreneur. So this is the answering to the question that was in my direct message. Hey, Donna, can you help me start a company? Hey, should I start a company? Like I've been thinking the way I think, selling things, doing things, thinking outside the box since I was small. So when I was in the first grade, I had a babysitter and she would take me to school, right? But before I got to school, I would go to the corner store. We'll go to the store and get 100 pieces of candy. I forgot how much it is. It wasn't that much, it was cheap. So I get a lot of candy. Right? And put it in my book bag. So once I did that, I would just take it to school. But I would never eat it. I would just sit and wait. So first morning would come and then the afternoon, and then lunch would come. And I would take some out. And I would sell it. For how much would I sell it for? Five cents. By the afternoon, now I was in the first grade when I did this. By the afternoon, like two-ish, two o'clock, I would sell each piece of candy for 25 cents. All my candy was sold by the time I got home. I would have pockets full of money, and this was in the first grade. And I got an allowance every week from my parents. I got an allowance every week, I would sell candy, my mother would make cookies and brownies. I would sell those at school because my people in class, they like the brownies and they like the candy and they like the cookies. I would sell all this stuff. I always had money. I always knew how to make money. I always knew how to bring it in. I was always creative of making money. The reason why I gave you the story is because everyone doesn't think that way. And I started thinking that way because of my dad. My dad was an entrepreneur. 
He had real estate. He had parking lots. He had, he was an engineer. He did all types of things. On his parking lots, they had hot dog machine, potato chips, sodas. So if you parked your car, you got your car washed, you would get potato chips, you would get hot dog or whatever you want. It's like a little cart on in the parking garage. So he was selling that and t-shirts. That's what he would do. And we had apartment buildings. So we had all types of stuff. And I would always see him with cash, money. I always, always see him with money, always. So I grew up in an entrepreneur mindset of my dad. My mom, she was more like a conservative person and she didn't think so much outside the box. So when she lost her job, like a lot of people are losing their jobs and they're inboxing me and they're saying, hey, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. I'm gonna do what you're doing. It, it just doesn't pop like that. Like I've always thought that way always thought about how to make money on the side. Even if I didn't even need any money. Like when I was in school, I got an allowance every week. I didn't need any extra money, but I always had like jars of money, jars of dollars, just in general, all the time. I was always the person that had the money in elementary school. So I had all the dolls, all the this, all the that. I would never spend my own money. I would always have money. Make a long story short, it's not that simple to become an entrepreneur. You have to have the mindset. And a lot of people don't have that mindset because of the fear factor. I don't have the fear factor because I've always thought outside the box. Figure it out Friday is you have to figure out what you're good at. Maybe you can be a consultant for someone else that has their own company. Because he inboxed me and some other people inboxed me about, hey, can you help me start my own company? I don't really know. Um, you can get an LLC and you can start your own company. But if your mindset isn't open enough to do it, then it's not going to work. Like I said, I've always thought entrepreneurial thinking. Always. That's... I mean, no matter what situation is, I can always bring in money, always. No matter what goes on, you can guarantee Donna Breeze is gonna have some money in her pocket. Guarantee. Why? Because I always thought that way. My father always had money. We always had other streams of income, multiple streams of income. Real estate, I'm selling my Make Every Day a Great Day, a new you, I'm coming out with another product line. I've always thought that way. So this pandemic has made people realize that having one stream of income is not really the best route. But being an entrepreneur is not the easiest thing to do. Being an entrepreneur, it's not easy. Either you think that way or you don't. Most people, especially school, trains a person to believe you get a degree, and then you go and you go get a job and you work for someone else. That's what society tells people. Like me, I never went to school for journalism. How do you get all those celebrities? How do you interview all those celebrities? I went to b &H, which is a film store in Manhattan. I got a camera, but before that I was doing it on my phone. I got a camera, I would go to celebrities and I would say, hey, I wanna interview you. Then I just started interviewing celebrities. I would go some, some places I didn't even have an invitation at first. I would just show up with a gown on with a cameraman and they would just let me do the interview. Like, is she even supposed to be here? Well, she looks like she's supposed to be here, I guess. I don't know. That's what I would do. But I never went to communication school. I didn't go to school for TV. I didn't go to school for radio. I didn't go to school for any of that stuff. I mean, I went to school for real estate, but that was, I had to do that to get your license. But I also wanted to know like the structure and the roof and heating and air conditioning and things like that. Some things you have to go to school for, but I didn't go to school for entertainment. You know, I just did it. But you have to believe that you can do it too. That's another thing. You have to believe you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, it's not gonna happen. 
back to that high vibrational energy. If your vibration level is high and your confident level is high, you can do anything. But that low vibrational energy, you're not going to be able to do it. So, and this is the Figure It Out Friday. So, if you want to be an entrepreneur in this pandemic, it's not that simple. Tell me what you think. Follow me on Instagram at I am Donna Briggs underscore Twitter, Donna Briggs 10, or YouTube, Donna Briggs Talks. And remember, make every day a great day. Follow me on my, on my website at makeeverydaygreat.com. And guess what? I finally convinced the guy who owns makeeverydaygreatday.com to sell it to me. Yay! So now you can follow me on makeeverydayagreatday. I own that now, yay. So anyway, I love you guys and make every day a great day and hugs and loves and have a spectacular weekend. Bye.